I think I agree with what a Labour Party spokesman said that DSS is trying to distract Nigerians from or they're distracting Nigerians with this uh, interim government, interim government. Of course, Peter B has distanced himself from that uh, statement. You know, people are all over the place airing their opinions and what have you. But the next thing, they will try to heap it on, maybe on a particular candidate, especially obedience. Anything that just happens, it is obedient. I watched a... A radio presenter i think yesterday somebody called in and said all oh, this obedience all oh, this obedience that they don't they don't want this they don't want that ah, the presenter immediately said it is not obedient a lot of nigerians do not agree to that particular statement say you know that particular issue that they were discussing on radio that is not all about obedience and i so much thank god that the presenter quickly corrected the person because everything is obedient obedient if you don't, that is the same mindset. I'm, I'm sure the person that called, the person is from a, it's a Yoruba person. If you are, if you don't speak Yoruba or Aousa, you be Igbo. That is the height of a illiteracy. But the question now is that hey, who has power? Who has power to install interim government? That is the question. Because when Labour Party said, go and arrest a uh, MC Lomo, you are talking about an uh, interim government. And when you look at this interim government, this statement came, started from uh, this, uh, this so-called uh, APC spokespersons. They are the ones that would generate something and they will begin to expand it and expand it. Say, oh, the Labour Party said this, they said this, they said that. And that is exactly what they are looking for from Peter B to say something. But he's, 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 more, he's wiser than them because he chose his way. The one that calls himself an elderly person who talks anyhow, who happens to be Tinumbu, he doesn't even take his words. But because they are using the instrument of uh, the government to suppress others, that is why they will look the other way when he says something. The question is that who has power when you talk about interim government? Interim government. And they will try to, the same people, they will manufacture something or a statement. They begin to spread it and they will tell you and tell their supporters who are gullible because if you are not gullible somebody cannot say something and you don't even look directly or look inward or think deeply concerning what is being said mm, you join the bad wagon Ononuga came out and said oh uh, this uh, old thing want to be turned to what happened during abiola and people are coming and saying what are you talking about this has nothing to do with abiola uh, uh, situation the only similarity is the Muslim Muslim ticket. The person who was in power was a military head of state. So now, if, and that is the same question I've been asking, if you are talking about interim government, who is going to make the interim government to work? Is it not the president, uh, the ruling party? Is it not a government of the day? So does it mean opposition has power to install interim government or the government of the day has the power to install an interim government because people can only shout, people can only protest. This is what we want. At the end of the day, the responsibility lies on the government of the day to do what people want or what people desire. If they don't want to do it, they won't do it. Just like they have been disobeying court orders here and there. So this APC coming out to tell us that, uh, oh, they want to install a... They want to install interim government. Is it uh, the government of the day or the military that will install? Because the so-called government of the day, APC, they are the ones crying. And they are the ones that can have the power to do that. So why are you calling crying that uh, they want to install? So the opposition will just come and install what is not. I don't really understand it. That's why this whole thing is just a... Uh, it's, it's confusing them because they know exactly what they are doing. It is propaganda, propaganda, propaganda. You, you, of course, when I just remember some people say, oh, this Nigeria is a scam. I didn't even understand it, what they meant by that. Because people are not really thinking deeply. But when you begin to follow the events or the situation in this country, you begin to understand what they meant by Nigeria is a scam. Honestly, it is really a scam. Divide and rule. You can, you know, maybe you have different names, using different names to illustrate it but when you look at it you know that nigeria is a scam you see people who have been coming out to condemn the atrocities that have been happening in this country 
all of a sudden when they have a people they want to align with the things that they were accusing other people of doing then now those things have become no matter it is no longer sin it is not they don't see it as corruption again they were complaining about corruption and the corruption that we have now is times 10 it's a non refuse now they are comfortable with that corruption and you begin to wonder wow so these guys have been pretending we know a lot of them is it Kiyamu? Is it a what is this man's name? FFK? Is it Adinyoju? Is it a this this guy from a do states? Afegua? Are you many of them like that? Many of them like that. The Nigerians thought that they were fighting for the people, just for justice of the people. Even a show money, all of them. You now see now that they are on the side of the or the the, the 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 side of what they used to condemn before now they are comfortable with it and that is why they sought this issue of oh lagos is no man's land they now they consist exaggerate expand it if you can use thugs and use suppression to 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 get a to to get your victory and you are coming to tell us that you won that you are a coward you are a big big coward who has the power to install interim government if not governments of the day they are shouting crying here and there crying for what crying that oh they want to install a uh, they want to install this they want to install a interim government you see them you see them it's so 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 really really unfortunate well <laughs> a lot of people are taking they are making their decisions these are the things that uh, people have been enduring for over many decades. Oh, it go good, it go good, it go good. Don't know say no scam. If you look inward, hey, you know say no scam. Oh. And that is why no matter the prayer, no matter the crusade you organize, if you don't do the right thing, all on a waste, all on a, on a, on a wash. If you wash it away. So just get it uh, like that. So a lot of people are, are, are making, you know, taking their stand. On what to do next because <laughs> it's like a from fry pan to fire those who do not have integrity whatsoever they want to be at the end of affairs and you want something they have already told you that they are going to continue from where buari so so you that you didn't like a what buari has done they said they are going to continue so what hope do you have again what hope do you have again so unfortunate so guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.